Hello and welcome to this new video in which I will show you how to easily update Unify on your Raspberry Pi. So what we're going to need is we need to log into our uh, Unify Raspberry Pi using the GUI to first take a backup. So I already have available backups over here. If you do not, you can, well, choose your reten uh, data retention and download the file over here so, but I'm gonna download from here and this is fine if it goes to my desktop first taking a backup before you upgrade is really important if anything may go wrong you can always do a clean install and restore your backup so now we are going to this website. This guy has well, created numerous scripts, but what we are going to do is the Unify Easy Update script. So we first need to SSH into our machine. And well, we are going to do that using PuTTY. I'm already logged in, but you log in using your IP address and credentials so now let's first make sure everything is up to date and installed I'm getting an permission denied that's because I'm not uh, sue that should do the trick Right, now let's try again. That works. Now we just have to wait a bit uh, for this all to update and uh, be ready for us to take the next step. All right, now that is done, we need to download the scripts. Now that it's downloaded, we need to bash unify updates. So this shoots update everything automatically and we just have to wait until it's done and then check our unify controller and now it asks us if we want to keep the script uh, well I do not it's not necessary so I won't choose N enter so what do we want to update we want to update our unify controller so we will choose one and enter want to create a backup well let's be uh, be sure and create another backup and what's our unify network controller username well, for me, it's uh, admin. The password, uh, well, I'm not going to show you, but I will fill it in. All right. It says login success. And it will update our stuff now. Alright, so now it asks us what we like to do with the script controller logins. Deleting archiving can take a while. <coughs> well, for me, it can just skip them. So, 
Now it asks us which version we want to update to. I'm on 5.11.39. Well, I just want to go to the most recent one, so I'll choose 3, 5.13.32. Alright, so now this is all done, we will check on our Unify controller and see how it is doing. So we need to sign in again, uh, don't send security analytics and let's see where can we check what version we are on should be should be over here yes 5.30 not 32 it's under maintenance so that is how easy it can be to update your unify controller on your raspberry pi I hope you learned something and I helped you with some problem. You may want to check out my other videos on my channel or subscribe to know if I upload another video. I hope to see you in the next one.